Texas and Iowa State. Texas was favored at one point this week by 17 points here, but Texas get to win by three points. That's what Matt Campbell does. He drags you into the mud, makes you make mistakes. Incredible coaching job from Campbell to even have a shot in this ballgame because as far as talent goes, yeah, Texas way, way, way out ahead of them. But that's what that's what they do, right? That's what ends up happening. Um 82 Atlantic jumps in. What record does Mike know? You know what? We're going to talk about that in just a minute. So, uh, the next game we're talking about Clemson. So, uh, Texas, in this situation, did not look good early, right? They were down 7 to nothing early. They came out in that second quarter. They scored two touchdowns. They looked like they had taken back control of this game. Came out in the third quarter, only managed to kick a field goal. Uh, Iowa State was able to score points. Like, that's in the second half, they figured out a way to score on this Texas defense. Uh, looking at the team stats here, let's go on and pull it up on your screen so that you can see what I'm looking at. Iowa State outgained Texas in this one, 403 to 363. I mean, that is just bonkers uh, to me, and it wasn't from rushing. Like, Hunter Deckers actually was able to throw the ball uh, pretty efficiently, to be completely honest. Uh, he did throw the one pick, and that obviously hurts, but let's uh, let's go through what actually happened here. Uh Texas won drive points. All of their points were drive points. So no short fields, no nothing like that from Iowa State. It, it, this was not a special teams, whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, the turnovers uh, definitely hurt, right? That's the biggest thing is Iowa State lost two turnovers. So that and that's the biggest thing is that it really hurt them. Um, Iowa State did win yards per play, 6.3 to 5.3. They won third down, 60% to 46%. Um we could say that Texas is lucky here, but when it comes down to it, like this team found a way to win when in years past they would not have been able to find a way to win here. Uh, Quinn Ewers in this, the the typical numbers, uh, 17 out of 26, 172, three touchdowns, didn't make the critical mistake. B. John Robinson, 28 carries for 135, so not bad at all. Johnson ran 11 times for 71 yards. Uh, just Just nuts. So... Yeah, Deckers, on the other hand, uh, really impressive. I mean, he he himself led the team as far as rushing yards go. Eight carries for 30 yards. He was 25 out of 36, 329 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. You look at the play-by-play, uh, this thing got squirrely in the second half. Missed field goal. Um, they did score two touchdowns, and then they get down there and they fumble. Uh, just drove it all the way down the field. And, yeah. Fumble at the Texas 32, and that, that ended the game, effectively. Texas was able to run out the clock. There were mistakes made by Iowa State. Uh, there were defensive mistakes made by Texas. That's that's the biggest way. So the turnover on downs early for Texas. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I might would have done differently if I were a Texas coach in this game. But the bottom line is, in zone six, jumps in here, Texas didn't play well, but found a way to win. Texas stocks up. Yeah. That's the biggest thing that I take away from this is, in years past, you would have found a way to lose this game. You're coming back home. The entire world is telling you how fantastic you are. And you lose to a team like Iowa State. That is a very formidable opponent, even if they are now 0-4 in the conference. This is not a bad Iowa State team. There are no bad teams in the Big 12. Bottom line, there's just not. So, now Texas, of course, you survived this one. You start to feel a little good about yourself. You got to go on the road to Stillwater off of an Oklahoma State team that that caught the bad end of an overtime game at TCU last week. So, which one's going to be more worn out? Who had to fight more? Maybe both. We'll see. But if you're Texas... You should probably win this game, too. It's coming up. Just saying. If if you're Quinn Ewers, you ought to be able to throw on that defense. Let's see. Win probability, etc. Yeah. This was a ugly game. Ugly game. But Texas found a way to win. So, cheers to them. Cheers to Iowa State for fighting like they did. Pretty awesome stuff. Pretty awesome stuff. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.